Hey lads, we're back at it again with another one. Come on, it's your boy Spray Gems, and around here we only spray gems. So today we're hitting it heavy with a fragrance that I've wanted for probably the last six years. I mean, we're going back along the lines of when I first got what was the fragrance, Josanda Sun Men. I mean, same inspiration. I got it all from Jeremy Fragrance. Oud Touch by Franck Olivier. Mate, I've been wanting this for a while and finally got my hands on it. So stay tuned while we crack this thing open. Boom, right, okay, let's go. Let's, let's crack this thing open. I've been waiting too long. I don't want to speak too much. Because I have smelt this and mate, when I smelt this, I fell in absolute love. Fun all of this, throw that, throw that. The box is simple, I mean, what, what, what do you want me to say? There's a, a bit of what? Prince, that's pretty much it. It's a really, really standard cheap box. I mean, Eau de Parfum, 3.4 fluid ounces, it's 100 ml. Okay, there isn't much to really say. Made in France. Okay, it's a, <laughs> it's quite a contrast from the the normal Middle Eastern fragrances that I normally do. But let's get into this. Okay, see the bottle. Let's throw the box. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> you won't believe me, but just by opening this box, I can already smell it. I haven't even sprayed it yet. Hopefully, this hasn't hasn't been sprayed. But let's see, the bottle is, is a beautiful bottle, what can I say? It's very unusual um, because it's almost like they've broken the middle and flicked it outwards or flicked it in a different direction. It's, it's a really nice touch. They've got a nice tree on there as well. Franck Olivier, you got Eau de Parfum, Paris. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, what can I say? Same thing on the top, Franck Olivier. I don't know if you guys saw that yet. Yeah, there we are. Let's pull this thing. Oh my days. Okay, they have taken click on lids to a next level. You saw how hard I had to <laughs> struck. Oh my days. Move this around, look. I could fight with this all day long. Oh my days. Oh crap, did I break the bottle? No, I have not. See, this is a strong, strong bottle. Okay. Dead looking atomizer, it's gold, it's plastic. Completely plastic, looks completely dead. Actually, is it metal? It feels cold. I think it's metal. Let's give it a spray. Whoa, okay. Okay, oh wow, okay, right, right. So a bit about this, obviously this was released back in 2014 and the hype surrounding it was because it was claim, well, I mean, people claim to, or people say that it is a clone of Dior Udis Fahan, right? And you know how hard that is to get. Forget about price, right? Let alone, let alone the price. I think the price is absolutely extortionate, but it's it's pretty difficult to get your hands on it. I, I think. I'm not even sure if Harrods sell it at this point or Harvey Nichols or wherever to be fair but this I, I looked at the notes on Fragrantica and it is a little similar the only thing I'm gonna say is the fact that this even though it says Oud Touch it's barely got a touch of Oud in it right <laughs> And it's, it's going along those Middle Eastern fragrances. You saw that last fragrance, I can't remember what it was called, but it had, uh, I think a special oud. Yeah, it's a Dior Sauvage clone, and it's called special oud. In what world does that even make sense? But this is a bit more, I mean, if, if I didn't know that it didn't have oud in it, I mean, it doesn't have actual oud in it, obviously then I wouldn't have said anything because this smells beautiful. Oh, first you get hit with those florals. I mean, this is based on a lot of rose. 
Uh, I think it's got a bit of violet leaf or something in it as well. It's from what I remember. I can't remember everything, but it's it's got quite a lot of florals on the opener. It's beautiful. That's why I would say it's probably borderline feminine, if anything. I know it's unisex, but most likely steering more towards um, the feminine side. But on the dry down, that's when everything changes. I mean, when I first sprayed this on, I sprayed this on my hand, maybe two or three sprays, right? It stayed with me for the whole day. And where I sprayed it on my clothes, <laughs> it stayed for, I don't know, like two or three days, something like that on my clothes, something crazy like absolutely crazy i paid 25 pound for this right this generally goes for between 15 and 30 pounds right wherever you can find it but for that price this is one of the biggest projecting and longest lasting fragrances money can buy i i absolutely adore this fragrance the only thing is you won't be able to spray too much of it without having some sort of homicide charge placed upon you mate <laughs> like, yeah this is people will be choked to death if you step in a lift while wearing 10 sprays of this i would not advise that at all <laughs> so yeah definitely going f uh, feminine on the opener and as it starts to dry down you really get those spices i know it has labdum labdanum in this I don't know if it has labdanum, uh, lab, uh, labdanum, I can't even pronounce it, labdanum in this. I know all this fahan has labdanum, and that's like, you know, you get the resins, it's, it's almost like, you know, the frankincense -y smell, the old church smell. That's, that's, the, that's the, the phrase that I'm looking for. You get that, and I love incense. Like my Ismiyaki Le Disi Por Om Intense, Oh my days, I fell in absolute love with that. The only problem is it's just the, the longevity of it and the projection as well. But this is beast. This is shooting. This will, you could probably smell it with the door closed, if anything. This is definitely a wintertime fragrance, I would say. Yeah, um, it would work perfectly. I know a lot of Middle Eastern um, people, they burn oud or bakhur like th these little wood chips they burn it and then they kind of let it marinate into their clothes they almost put it and wrap their jacket around it and this i think would be perfect i mean it it's not exactly the same thing but it gives that impression you wear lots of layers wear that underneath and you'll smell the aromas coming out this is a beautiful fragrance. For people that love florals, that love resinous fragrances, this is the one, yeah? You can also get those woody tones as well. Oh, man, man. This is very, very sophisticated for the price tag. And I don't really know how, to, how best to describe it. It's, it's very mature. Yeah, it's not a mass appealing fragrance. Not everyone will like this fragrance. And that's the thing I love about it. That's the beauty of it, right? <laughs> it sounds like quite the contrary, right? But that's why I love it because, I mean, like people, like us, we're not to everyone's cup of tea, right? And this fragrance is a character in itself. And that's what I love about fragrances. I love how they... Show, they paint a picture and they portray a certain character, right? It gives you an image of a movie. I don't know what movie this would be. It's a very, very cold movie. Um, something in the snow, maybe. Or maybe like a, a log. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, cabins. Log, logwood cabins with a lovely fire in the background. This, oh man, this is a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. But lovely. I mean, I don't have much else to say about this, guys. Like, comment, sh share, subscribe. See, I'm lost for words. I'm mixing everything up. <laughs> Do not wear this in the workplace. Do not. You will kill someone. Yeah? Wear this on a night out. Wear, th wear this on a date night, especially. Cold night. Do your thing. Yeah?
And until next time, guys, take care.